Hello guys, before we start this video, I am gonna come clean. Uh, the reason why the sound was so terrible in the video you're about to see is this here. EFX was disabled uh, when I recorded. Enabling it actually helps. Yeah, it makes it a lot quiet, quieter, uh, which we're uh, about to see. Bear that in mind, I didn't realize that. I disabled it because of another scenario that had a very bizarre reverb thing going on. Disabling EFX helped that. And it's been off ever since. Obviously, when I went back to this route, it having it disabled made a terrible mess of the sound. What can you do? It is what it is. All right, I'll give you a demonstration of the sound difference coming up. Okay, guys, just to let you know that you could indeed turn this down a touch. <laughs> uh, I just showed you the setting and this is what it sounds like now. I, I've already recorded it and I apologize about that. So bear that in mind, anybody could have tripped over that. It's a little bit weird. But this is the, uh, the actual in-cab sound. What I want to do is just show you how this all sounds. We'll get this up. Isn't that better? So it's drivable before you watch this. <laughs> and me moaning for a good while. But you will notice the difference in sound now. That's much better. Now you see it sounds like we're in the uh, inside the cab. I wish I would have known. I really do. I guess I could have researched, but uh, I got caught out. I'm, st I'm still going to stick with the uh, lack of graphic you'll see coming up. But if you stick your head out, that's pretty much what we had before. This is what it should sound like. And it's all because of that setting. Anyway, feel free to to uh, not watch the rest of the video, but to give Dovetail their dues. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you can see it here, the alarm, much easier too. And I can turn it down on my headphones so I don't have to shout over it. But I'm going to stick with my mistakes. Uh, and if you do watch the entire video, good for you. <laughs> Proud of you. Hello and welcome to another Free Time Friday. This time we are on the East Coast Mainline. Welcome to service 1Y08 from Newcastle to London, King's Cross. You are just north of St. Neots. Waiting for a failed commuter train to terminate ahead. On the way to London, please make an out of scheduled stop at Stevenage. This is to cater for the passengers who would have caught the train that has failed. Rated to travel at 140 miles an hour or 225 kilometers an hour. Hence the naming Intercity 225. Uh, they're limited to 125 due to signaling in the UK. Not, not able to cope with trains traveling at that speed. Aim to arrive in the capital at 9.10. It is 8.26. We are sat at a red light. Red signal. Shall we get going? That is loud. Excessively so. And I can barely hear the alarm. So that bodes well for a perfect score, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, can we turn on some instrument? There we go. That was a bit fortunate. I, I don't know what to do about this sound. I don't have everything very very high for sound oh we can go let's just get going i want to try and perfect this guys i'm i'm not feeling it though given that, should we release the brakes that might help there we go there is an intercity the lights vanished not sure what that's about did he dim them for me not sure how this train is with acceleration um, regarding wheel slip Something doesn't seem right about the sounds. I feel like we're sat outside. Oh, vigilance. 
I... You can't turn them off. I tried a, the normal keys. That's not good. Well, we're not hanging outside, are we? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of regretting this one now. Okay, so it's, it's like we're permanently outside for this one. Something isn't right there. See, that's nice. And then we get in the uh, always windows open cab. Yeah, something's not right. Is this just how this is? Ah, it's loud. There's a lot of intercities going around. Was it me or was that intercity? Was that the broke down one? The one that was on the, uh, on the slow line? I will sort the sound out afterwards. Um, we can just about hear the alarm. I want to go for a perfect score, so we'll try and stay in the cab. I guess we can jump out <laughs> if we time it right. But uh, yeah, if we miss that alarm, we are gonna we're gonna break crazy. Uh, emergency brake settings, all sorts of points out the window, all over the track. This is probably a bad one, isn't it, to go for for uh, for, for a perfect score. And we're picking up speed pretty good. Oh, is that the broke down train? Is that what we was waiting? I don't know. Did it pull over? Possibly. That must be the broke down train, surely. Because it's uh, on the, the slow commuter line. So there's a... Uh, yeah, that's got to be it. All right, so... Just gone through St. Neots. We should see the big uh, power power station up ahead. I did try to put that in. I put it as a grain silo. Ooh. Is that right? That sounds like an American train. I don't know whether you guys know this or have this. Is have, have my sounds messed up? I feel like... <laughs> Firstly, we're not sitting in the cab. Which is a bit weird. That's what it sounds like. And, uh, oh, there we go. There's the uh, power station. So they got that in. It's been a long time since I've been on the East Coast Mainline route for this. I did make a few scenarios for it. But it was a long time ago. I remember there were some bugs. Uh... Which is probably why we're not leaving from Peterborough, because if you leave from Peterborough, there's a red light that's a bit weird. Heading uh, just before Huntingdon. Now, you can go in and edit the light so that it clears better. Why they've never fixed that, I don't know. Don't see a lot of traffic. I'm not sure what day it's supposed to be, but I don't see a lot of traffic. Scenery looks nice. I'm scared to get out, though, given our uh, vigilance situation here. I chose the Swallow one. There is an East Coast one as well, uh, uh, in East Coast livery. I don't know whether the actual train's any better with the sound. I'm tempted to check that out. And I don't know whether you can disable the vigilance alarm so we can go and have a look. But things outside. A lot of cars parked around there. Oh, you could hear the... I've missed that. You can hear the, like, little... Little crossing alarm. I, I missed that. They need that in transport fever. Which is what... I, I mean, I did give that a pretty... This route a pretty good go in transport fever. I don't think I did a bad job. I would do the uh, horn, but I just doesn't sound right. I don't know what they sound like. To be fair, it could be it could be spot on. Drop <laughs> the gate. D do me a favour. Someone who knows what they sound like is this what it sounds like? Probably. It, it, the more I do it, but I'm not going to do it for the entire journey into the capital. That would be annoying. 
another 225 and there's the annoying alarm I know I know if, if, if I was a real driver I it would be fine but I would expect I'd be able to hear it a little better so first off as we're traveling along now probably pick up speed a bit apologies for missing the pro sale bit busy at the moment away from YouTube so uh, yeah I, d I didn't manage to get that anything from there I don't know whether I've even got any pro locos either so I maybe want to look into that when the next sale and not miss it I do like the scenery on here a bit juddery guess it's loading things in It does look really nice out here. But, <laughs> but I feel like the train sounds... I'm going to keep going on about it. It's kind of annoying. I will check uh, after this the uh, the other train that comes with this, uh, this add-on. DLC. The East Coast one. I don't know whether it's made by... Armstrong or something and this one's dovetails work uh, anybody noticed anything missing in this scenario there's there's a, a thing I'm seeing that isn't there oh, no that makes no sense there's something that <laughs> I should be seeing that isn't there is is better where are the 365s and why are there Intercity 125s running on the, uh, what? That's just weird. Have they not put the 365 in? Because let's face it, in order to play this, you have to have this route, the East Coast Mainline route, which comes with the 365. unknown on that what happened there is there a reason for that can anybody tell me is it is it just a special moment for a created this this scenario it wouldn't be hard would it there's literally no reason i can think of why it the, they wouldn't have a 365 on this it looks silly dovetailed silly i'm disappointed I, got, I picked this up in the sale quite a while back, so not too disappointed because I got it pretty, pretty decent price. But if you paid full price for this, I, 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 I would be a bit, a bit upset, especially with the sounds too. This might be the first one I have a bit of a dig at. I'm going to be honest with them. I, I don't, I don't get keys. I mean, I would be honest anyway, but they probably wouldn't send me any keys after that. Hey, so. I think I prefer to do this where I purchase them. Then I, uh, I don't feel like I have to be... You know, it's always in the back of your head. If you get given a key. Well, maybe I should be a little kind. No. I'm going to buy the keys and I'm going to say it how it is. I just, just... Well, not even keys, is it? I buy the product off Steam. Also, I believe that... That sale was only on Dove, uh, Dovetail's website, which which I don't really go on. So that will be another reason I probably missed that. I will, however, any time I, I, I keep an eye on that alarm. Uh, I do keep an eye on the Steam DLC list for for this uh, for this game simulator game. Um. And I haven't seen any yet. Hopefully they're better quality than this. I mean, the route itself is is lovely. I love the route. That's why I did so many scenarios. Well, I did a few scenarios. Quite a few scenarios for it. And it, it's it's got a lovely looking 365 in there. That I'm going to keep mentioning. If we see any more Intercity 125s acting as commuter trains on the slow lines. Oh. I'm sure there are there are um, 
workshop scenarios where they've fixed this and it, and it looks way better. But the thing I like to do with the... We're only seven miles outside of Stevenage. How are we doing on time anyway? Pretty good. That countryside looks beautiful out there. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to have to keep my finger hovered over Q. I do love it. I hope whoever makes these snar <laughs> this scenario doesn't make any more or learn from their mistakes. Could you update it? Max speed, 125. Limited speed, 125. You know, we all know it can do 140. In fact, between uh, Peterborough and Grantham, this, this thing did uh, a little, quite a bit more than 140. There you go. The more you know. I think it was 160, but I'm not sure. It seems high. I might have I might have forgot the number. But it was fast. So we're going to be getting close to Stevenage. I'm not sure on the braking for these. So we might have to uh, slow down a little sooner than we would in, say, uh, the 365. Which doesn't exist on this route. But it does. It comes with it. <laughs> Am I just going to... I'm just going to keep saying that. I recognise this, but... That's for sure. That's got to be... Hitchin, right? Has to be. I thought there was a flyover at Hitchin. Just on my map, apparently. Depends when this... I, I don't know, though. I think the flyover's quite new. Maybe I missed it. I didn't get out the cab to go and have a look back. It's ruined. Just checking the brake key. I've got it. i got all hands on keyboard right now because I certainly don't want to miss it. any alarms. We'll probably take a look out the cab when we're parked at uh, Stevenage. There we go. Have a little look around. In the meantime, we're stuck in here. Was, th was this before they started unifying everything and you could disable the vigilance stuff? Possibly. I... Now, don't get me wrong, guys. When I play this, like, without recording, when I'm just getting my uh, train driver fix, I don't disable it. I like the, the full experience. But when you want to record something and, like, you know, show a bit of scenery off, have a look outside the train. Oh, this, uh, we, we might mess this up. How's the brakes on this? Can we, uh, can we, can we slow? Would you know what? After all this, we might not slow down in time. I don't know whether there's emergency after this. As the passengers all headbutt the seats in front of them. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> you should be used to that by now if I'm the driver. Oh, yeah, you know what? Um, this thing breaks like a beast. Well, that's fortunate. Because we would have... We would have flown past. That's really nice, isn't it? Do you know what that sound, that constant sound is? It's like someone's got the, uh... The fan on, but like the air blower on maximum and just refuses to turn it down. That's what it reminds me of. I mean, it's, it's just white noise now at this point for me. Since I can't turn it down. Because if I turn my headphones down, I won't hear the alarm. That's a little unfortunate. We've got... We're, we're, we're spot on on time. I feel like these trains do come in slow. They never seem to be going fast when they hit the platform. The, the start of the platform. So we'll, we'll come in gentle. Hello, sir. Yeah, look at your watch. Look at it. I'm on time. 
Don't look at your watch. In fact, I'm early. Judgy. In fact, we're really early. I think that'll do us. That'll do, pig. All right, let's get passengers on. Maybe we can look outside now without any problems if we put this in neutral. Oh, peace. There we go. Lovely Stevenage Station. Does look pretty much like this. Or it did what, uh, 10 years ago when I was there, so... Probably more than that now. Very modern for the time. It's a lovely model, this train. The lights seem a bit uh, dull. I don't know if I've got a setting wrong. I've got dynamic lighting on, and I've got uh, dynamic clouds on for a change. We've got loads of time, haven't we? We should... Um, Go and have a look around. Do you know what? I like it here. Stevenage. What's on the signs? What we got? Bus buses replace trains. <laughs> Do they? Half the time, probably. Changes to train times. Sorry for the delays, maybe. I don't know when it went. Oh, it's got the date on it. 2013. Really? Is that when they made this route? Brick texture is nice. Oh, <laughs> not when you face plant it. I mean, it's a nice train, right? It looks lovely. Let's get in. So look, we're, we're train sim welding. Sort of. Hello, everybody. I'm a hovering entity. Look, wisp. Straight through the windows. What you reading? Just gonna. Is that the Times? What does that say? The RSC Railway Times. I'm probably missing a joke there. Rocky now. Lovely. Delicious coffee. 8.45, we've still got bags of time. We're going to be here all day. I guess most of the... That car park. A bit wobbly. <laughs> oh, I can't help. I know. I know, it doesn't matter how good the textures are, but you can't help but giggle a bit. I get it. You ain't got much. These were, <laughs> this a whole engine was... Was not designed for modern computers. Let's go up here. It does look nice, though. I've got to give them credit for the amount of time they put in on these routes. Ooh, what you building? Go over. Oh, the piece. Oh, let's not look. Not a lot finished. It doesn't need to be, though, does it? You think about it. You're sat in the train. You're not going to see much of it over there. Some high rises. That's a nice building right there. I like that. Anybody noticed any? Uh, oh, that's that's not a train track. Um, bearings. Get your bearings. We've lost the train. Um. Yep, I've lost the train. I want to find it though. There it is. Ooh, that could have been awkward. You'll have to walk, guys. Train drivers got lost. Roundabout. Let's get up. Let's get back up here. Back to the noise of the the truck. See, this sounds fine. That's how it sounds when these are sitting in the the at the platform. It's exactly how they sound. But not in the cab. Well, I don't know. I've never sat in the cab. Has anybody sat in the cab of a two two five class ninety one? Nice hat. Is it a pork pie? I, I think that's what they're called, right? Does it look like a pork pie? Is that why? Oh, I, I, I'm staying out of the cab until it's closer to the time because of this. I just want to break from that, that sound. It's not good. Yeah, I'm, we're, we're kind of missing some, uh, some traffic. 
of the East Coast Main Line. It's very busy, especially at 8.47 in the morning. Unless, of course, it's a Sunday morning. And is that what you're going to say? For Sunday morning, it might be a little quieter. Still wouldn't see in uh, 125s on slow, slow commuter lines. All right, let's get going. I've pressed Q just in case. Handbrake is off. Uh, we have to get to London by 8.55, apparently. Or 8.10, it said. Oh, no, that's uh, by a Welling Garden. I know Welling Garden. Let's get going. I will say I will probably not drive this again after this. I hope the uh, East Coast version is better. Maybe I'll do some sort of cut. Uh, visually, I don't know how I'll tie that in. If the East Coast one's better from this point forward. Do you know, should we do that? It, I mean, it might not be any better, but we, we could do that. I'm tempted, you know. Because I'm hoping the sound isn't as bad. But I'm going to finish this one. That's what I think. I definitely want to finish this one, and we'll see if we can get uh, a perfect. So far, so good, I believe. Uh, this is another timed section up to Wellen. Up fast. So we're on the up line. Although, for this scenario, I think up and up fast and slow are uh, immaterial. Just all intercity trains. Yeah, I think somehow we are going to go in the um, in the East Coast train. That's what we're going to do. Just to see if it's any different. Um, I'll probably not complete it. We'll, what we'll do is we'll do this one. And at the end, I'll start the scenario again. We won't drive it again, but we'll see if the train's any better. That's what we'll do. Done. So, if, if you can't bear any more of this noise, I do not bl blame you. I will try and turn it down a little bit uh, on post-recording, post just so it's not quite as unbearable. Although it's a bit of white noise if you're sleeping. Maybe I can just do a, a slow DJ voice for the entire thing. And then you just sleep to this one. I can't, though, because I've already been whining and stuff about the sound. So I ruined it. Future video, maybe. It'll just be white noise. All right, let's get going. It looks like we are on, on time. Slowing down to 1.15 shortly we're not there yet so well at least you're on at least you're on the fast line that's all i'm gonna say so has anybody placed a bet yet are we gonna because if i miss just one of those alarms we are done for that's not speed this is where it narrows to uh two tracks then and uh, we go over the viaduct after not too not too long after this corner. This isn't... Well, this is a viaduct, but it's not the one I'm on about. There's a bigger one than this that's straight just before Wellen. Or is this the one? That might have been the one. I swear there's a really long viaduct. After... Because there's Nebworth first, I believe. Have we passed Nebworth yet? I don't think we have. We'd be a little bit faster, I guess. Are they a 
fairly sure we haven't passed Nedworth yet. Then there's Welland North. And then Welland Garden City. That's got to be Nedworth just here. Surely. I can't remember. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this lovely viaduct here. Uh, this would have been perfect to get out and have a look. Maybe I'll have to drive it again. I know I can't because it will just stop me. <laughs> I was going to say I could drive it again without worrying about a perfect. But, uh, and then cut in some lovely scenic shots as we're passing the same point in the video. But, um, uh, no, no. You've done it, Grand. You've chosen this. Deal with it. That's well enough ahead. We're back to four. Four tracks now. A bit more than that, but they're more sidings. We're on time. Early again, in fact. What I do know is... Um, they do give intercity trains a little bit of leeway. I recreated this flyover. I remember that. It's not quite the same, though. Maybe I... I messed that up a bit. I might have to revisit that at some point. On a on a transport fever map. That yeah, didn't look quite right compared to mine. Hmm. Concentration. Is that I tell you what the problem is, it's this this is literally turned into white noise for me now and I keep drifting off. That's not a good thing. Not when you're doing it nearly 115. I'm not sure why this is rated four stars. Or four difficulty. Uh, it's it's like yellow. Not really, is it, so far? Maybe there's a surprise for us as we uh, approach King's Cross. Maybe it's the fact of <laughs> here's an idea of why it's rated high. You've got to deal with the noise and a constant vigilance alarm. Maybe that's why. There's no way to turn it off. Yeah, I can see that. But I mean there's there's not much to do. Really. Other than admire the sea scenery from within the hairdryer. So that's that's all I'm going to call this from now on. 140 mile an hour hair dryer. Well, it's 125 mile an hour. But we're not doing. I believe we go back up to 125 before we reach London. I mean, when we get to New South Cape, which is in about nine minutes we'll be uh, fairly close to London uh, not London but King's Cross I should say like playing guess the station as we go by but some of these little smaller stations are not on my map that I created due to the scale I'm going to drink a cup of tea here. Yeah, I could leave it on cruise control if it wasn't for the uh, vigilance alarm. Maybe that's what it's there for. Anybody know how old this uh, this DLC is? Maybe that's the that's the key. Maybe it's an old piece of DLC where their standards were far lo far lower. Because I don't seem to be... Uh, they, they seem to be a lot better. The newer stuff from Dovetail seems to be a lot better. I feel like they actually take a bit of time with scenarios. I mean, scenarios are not that hard. They're really not. Time-consuming? Possibly. Possibly. 
But hey, put the effort in. You're selling it. I guess we should start slowing down now. Yeah. Oh, don't we have to be at... Quick, break. I think we have to be at 105. You... I do not believe it. I completely forgot about that. I'm just going to be very quiet right now. Yeah. Yeah, look at that score. I'm regretting everything about this video. <laughs> Yeah, what can you do? Come on, guys, at least show it on the map. I mean, I saw the signal 105 and then I just drifted off. And not the signal, the uh, speed decrease warning. Ah. And I knew it. I knew it's on this track as well. I knew it drops to 105 speed limit before the 100 board on the, on the little mini map below us. My own fault. My own fault. Does mean we're getting a little closer to New Southgate. Beep, beep, beep. I don't know what I've done to the game settings, but the text just seemed better than when I used to play this. Although it was on my own... My old PC when I created the scenarios. Maybe this is closer to maximum because it looks far better. I'm just going to ignore the stuttering, I think. Not much you can do about it. Train Sim 2019 should be around the corner. I'm hoping that uh, that cheers me up after this. After, after this career blunder. Well, we're not getting perfect, are we? This is just... Disappointing. Am I going to say it's my fault? Yes. I should have been... I should have remembered. I remembered at the last, uh, last second. Because I saw the 105 uh, warning board. And it was at that point, I was like... 105? It says 100. And, and then it dawned on me that there's a... There's a hidden speed change in the track. The board's there. The 105 board. I saw it approaching us a bit quickly. I mean, we did well to only get uh, two points deducted. I think it was two, right? No. No more mistakes, Grand. No more mistakes. Yeah, anyway. 2019. After the panic there. I'm just going to let it let it roll in. <laughs> all the way to King's Cross. Can we just leave it all the way to King's Cross? No, I don't want to be late as well. We're, we're currently way early though. What was I saying? 2019, yeah. I don't know when it's going to come out. I was ho uh, That's what I've been waiting for. I was hoping that would be the next thing that came out. But I think it's going to be at least November, right? Surely. I can't remember when uh, they come out, but I'm pretty sure it's close to the end of the year. I don't know whether we're going to get a thousand points for this. Technically, we haven't perfect, perfected it, perfected it, perfected it. No, no, none of that. Don't like any of those words. Hey, look, we're not speeding. Go me for obeying track rules. All right. Our next stop is King's Cross, platform two. Uh, a lot of speed decrease coming up for us. I Now, I'm going to guess we need to... Uh, I, we've not seen a, a single train go by us, have we? That, that that train parked up in the sidings there just reminded me. 
they just gave up. It's like, yeah, don't need any more trains. It's, it's East Coast Main Line. It's dead quiet. It's not, though, is it? Not at all. Really busy. I'm really looking to the 64-bit engine. I hope it uh, gives uh, a bit of life back into this old dog. It's getting on a bit. You can really tell. I think Train Sim World has a future. As they... Uh, as they continue to roll out DLC for it. Because it, it just needs a bit of variety and a longevity. And I love the... Um, I've said this before, but I love... I love the... What do they call them? Service mode. Yeah, where you just get to drive services. How early are we? Stupidly early. I think we can just... I think we can, can't we? We could just cruise in, but... I don't know whether we'll drop below 65 before then. Look, guys. For those that have stuck with me in this video, and you are stars for doing so, because it's not the best, is it? <laughs> it's, it's one of my, my, my least awesome videos that I've got. But, uh, yeah, for those of you stuck stuck by me, we have a bit of excitement. We have... We have a train. We get to see the Emirates Stadium up there. And uh, you can thank your lucky stars that it's almost over. That's just how I'm going to end this as well. There we go, guys. <laughs> I promise I will pick a better route for the next... Well, not the route. The route's lovely. I will pick a, a better train for the next one and a little more entertaining or a bit more involved scenario, career scenario I chose this one because it was hard air quotes all the way there but it's not is it I mean it's hard in the sense that you have to press the vigilance but it's not really hard that's, that's, that's driving a train that's how train operation is Right, we've got the Gasworks Tunnel approaching rapidly. They're around the corner somewhere. We've got to go through this first set. Now, I know what that is now that's going up there in the middle. That goes off to uh, St Pancras, I think. Goes over the top. Let's get slowing down. We're in absolutely zero rush for this. I will, however, when we're done, have a look at the, uh, quickly have a look at the East Coast one, and I'll edit that in. Somehow. I'll figure out a way to show you that. Oh, yeah, we're going downhill. Um, all the way to, to the platform. So you have to be aware of that. Don't get caught out by that. It's easily done. I think we're good. I think we're good. We haven't... We're, we're going to be like one or two points off perfect, I think. What can you do? Let's get under 15. Ready for uh, coming out the gasworks tunnels. Keep an ear out for... Vigilance alarms. Deep concentration now. I don't want to give any more points away if possible. And I know there's those sneaky, sneaky little... <laughs> platform magnets that... Uh, that will uh, throw the emergency brakes on if we're doing above a certain speed. And I never remember what it is, so I like to go below 10. But I think today I'm going to go below... Below 9, because I'm scared.
well not now obviously but when we get into the platform or when we're about to kiss the platform that is yeah there is no 365s on this this scenario guys not acceptable sort that out just update it you know you can replace the trains now easily I, w I don't understand. Oh, come on. Don't just stop in the tunnel. That'll please everybody. I know we're early, but let's not ruin everybody else's timetable. Now, I can't remember where the magnets are. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you can hear me over this excessive fan that I have in my cab. We are now pulling into King's Cross. This train terminates here. Please ensure you have all of your luggage and get off my train. Because it's noisy. Really noisy. <laughs> it's busy in King's Cross. How can you do some things better than you normally do such as passengers waiting there's those magnets right there and I don't know what the speed is and I'm scared I'm gonna slow down I want to get under five I should have looked up on the PDF I didn't used to know ex the exact speed you had to be under for these I'd imagine it's not ten I'd imagine it's lower than 10. But this, these ones anyway, otherwise you you don't want... Well, I guess you could be doing 10 coming up to here. Please do not throw on the emergency brakes. Please, please, please. Beautiful. And we've still got plenty of time. So we're going to at least get the maximum points from this section, providing I don't wang it into the buffers at the end. For a perfect end to a terrible video. <laughs> I don't know what made me think about doing this one. We'll just cruise in properly like we're professionals. And give ourselves more chance to fail. That'll do us. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright, everybody out please. Let's turn this off. Let's uh, turn off the instrument lights. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh, that was a journey. For different reasons than it being difficult. It was It was a journey. We'll leave it there. We done it guys. It's 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 over. Oh looks we got a thing a cinematic. We can slowly look at our try I don't know how many points we got because they rudely went into a cinematic. I appreciate the effort in that. Maybe you should have done a little more on the trains and the uh services. That's the end of the shift. Well done. Yes. You mean for sticking with it? Oh, but I love the train. You're so, so nice. Classic intercity swallow livery. And let's get out, shall we? How did we... No, <laughs> guys. Guys, we did it. My, possibly my worst video is the one that we perfect on. That was bound to be the case, right? Look at that. It. Look at that. 1,000 XP gained. We nailed it. We only lost two points, but I'm guessing there's an overlap in the scoring. That was a little fortunate. Thank you for joining me on that. I'm not going to hang around too much. Uh, if the other train is different, there'll be probably a little cut while I'll do some commentary over that. Okay. 
Should we end this? We perfect. Uh, we, we got a perfect. That's all that matters for me. Uh, for you guys, you, you probably want less perfect and more entertaining and enjoyable. I'll see if I can sort the noise out in editing. I hope you join me again and and uh, and don't don't feel like that's how all of my journeys are going to go. Most of them will not. We'll get some stinkers. That's that's for sure. Anyway, until next time, take care.